Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Small Lands on PlayStation 5. So, we have set up our ladybugs to stay here. But, we were not able to name them. We tried, and it doesn't seem to work. Yeah, it's kind of broke. So, yeah, let's say we want to name it Red. And then after this, it doesn't matter what you press, the name doesn't stick. Yeah, or we if tried. You move off of the name or anything. Yeah, you can't do anything from here. We tried just pressing square. Uh, triangle will close it without naming it. Circle the same thing. Uh, you know, L two, R two, all those buttons. Tried hitting the options. Touchpad closes it as well. I was thinking maybe if you try naming it when you're leveling it up, maybe it'll stick. But maybe we'll see. Yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know how it's gonna level up if it doesn't fight though. So true. Since it's just gonna carry our stuff. Anyways, we're gonna leave the ladybugs here so they don't die, or get lost, or just limit our movement in any degree because we're worried about losing them, and they got some of our crap on them. Alright, so we're trying to head down to the beach. We're going hunting. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can fight this rhino beetle. I doubt it, but we will yeah, take a gander. We're probably not, not quite equipped enough for this fight, but we will see. And we might even level up along the way some. Fighting all these other I enemies lost. here. Good Where job, Jinx. Go? So like the little bites are what you need to be blocking. Wow, that went a lot easier. When you were blocking? <laughs> yeah. That's kinda dumb. It doesn't, you know, stop all the damage, of course. No. But it does reduce the damage you take by quite a bit. And you know, the roll just takes too long to do and it and it pulls you away from the enemy. So I don't think we'll be able to avoid fighting these beetles, Jinx. I think we gotta fight them. The beetles and the bees. Or the bees, that's what I meant to say. The bees. Maybe we can just bring them over here one at a time, or maybe not. Oh jeez. And I missed. And I missed again. Oh, well, they're just kind of <laughs> hanging out. Yeah, maybe they can't go past a certain point. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and they're just stuck there for a minute? Yeah, I'll just run around in a circle. Keep them distracted. Oh, he still got me, bastard. Alright, so we've gotten one of them killed. I feel like one of these is a different level than the others. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I think I'm poisoned as well. I don't feel so good. Alright, so another one's dead. One of them is a lot bigger than the other one. Is that the queen? No, oh, it's just a bee. The other ones are drones. Oh. So this is clearly a higher level like one. A legit bee. Yeah. So might have to make some more arrows after this because I've used yeah. a lot. And I missed again. And we are not doing a ton of we damage with that bow. I think we need to uh, repair it. We got it. Yeah, excellent. So we got a ton of stuff on that. Uh, let's go mm. ahead and set up the repair bench again. The workbench. Every episode I'm going to call it something different apparently. <laughs> There's a repair workshop last episode, the I think. The weight bench. <laughs> yeah, it'll be the weight bench next time. All right, let's go and get all that repaired, and we're gonna craft up some more arrows as well because we used a few. The fire arrows, we'd need stone for that, but it uses the insect fur. Oh. And so yeah, if I had brought the stone with us, then we could Dang. have constructed some of those. Maybe there's a rock around here or something that we can beat on. Yeah, because that might help against this uh, rhino beetle. I don't know. I don't know too many critters that like fire. Yeah, true. That looks like a different beetle That's right there. That's a big beetle. Yeah, it's like a green one. We'll avoid it for now. He's not going to avoid us, though. Yeah, maybe if he's kind of squeezed past here. Yeah, he's not even coming after us, Jinx. He don't want none of it. He's going to wait until we least expect it. Well, there's another one down here, so we might have to fight that one. Might not be able to avoid. Oh, and... What is that? Oh, Cockroach? Didn't... Water bug? Ew, gross. It's a water bug. Alright, so we're, we're already seeing a lot of different enemies in today's episode as we've gone to a new area here. Oh, ladybug. I accidentally whistled for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're 
or another world event is about to happen. Does the ladybug hear your whistle from all the way over? Yeah, yep, yeah, it's on its way. It's already here. <laughs> yeah, it's all the way. I'm sorry, ladybug. <laughs> Our stamina is much reduced. These things aren't too bad. What do they drop? Uh, you know, same old jerky. thing. Though you, oh, you do get roach meat, jerky. so you you make the jerky out of the roach meat. That's kind of gross. Yeah, that is pretty gross. All right, so let me just take a look at the map, see where we're at. Okay, so we're moving towards the rhino beetle. Oh, there's fish bones. Can't we avoid that green beetle? Because again, I don't really want to fight him if we can avoid him. There is some stone right here if we wanted to get a bit mines for the fire arrows. The fire arrows though we are gonna have to fight this beetle because it's his stone and he's not giving it up he says it's mine that's only level two yeah you definitely get caught in the swinging animation yeah mm -hmm. now this weapon does not have a heavy attack because you know it is mainly for gathering resources I'm not gonna hit over and over again. Alright, excellent. Did you wanna get the uh, roach meat this time? I don't know you're excited about that jerky. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get our pickaxe out and harvest this stone. There's some like wheat or something over there. So after we've gotten all this, we'll, we'll craft ourselves. Some fire arrows. And see what else we all needed. But that might be flint over there. So let me just get this stone here, though. I don't know if we can avoid fighting this mm, beetle. Looks like just stone and Where? sticks. No, no, no. Over here. On the beach over there. Oh, I see. Don't go over there. There's a, we'd have to fight another roach thingy. Water beetle. Just gonna get some wheat. Bake some bread for our jam. It's right over here, Jinx. Oh yeah, that does look like flint. Mm-hmm. So we might have finally achieved our objective of finding flint, guys. Yes. Excellent. This is what we came out here for, guys. Well this and I guess beetles as well. And that did level us up too. So another level. For uh our fight against the the rhino beetle. I was trying to see if I can find the flint to get. Some bark over here. Oh, we need that bark. Let me see what oh, it looks we need like. A flint pickaxe. Oh, and we're gonna drown. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we won't be able to harvest that until after we've done a bit of crafting. Can we craft that with just the workbench? Or is that something we needed the stone cutter for? Probably. Mm, I think you need the stone cutter for it. Yeah, I probably do. And that'd be a lot of stuff for us to craft out here. I don't, I don't even know if we have the ability to do that. Yeah, we don't even have the things necessary out here with us, so. We have to wait till we get back home. But we can go ahead and make some of these fire arrows. So it's the insect fur, the stone, and the resin. So that got us 30 fire arrows for the boss. Let's go and repair our crap as well. Oops. Do you need your workbench for anything? Yeah. Okay, I'm good. All right. So let's go looking for this rhino beetle. Oh, I see him. There's no way that's not him. He's huge. Is that a beetle? Or is that I wonder, a human thing? I wonder if he charges. I mean, I would assume so. He is a rhinoceros. Yeah. Let's get across this. And then what we'll want to do is equip... Oh, I found more flint over here, by the way. Whoa. Next. We'll go and mine that real quick. Can I get it? Or get one of them? Yeah, sure. Oh, we also need to level up before we fight the rhino. So more flint. That'll be helpful since there's a lot of a lot of things 
that we need the, the flint for. Oh, and we're finding another beetle. I'm gonna get away from the rhino while we do this. Oops. Ah, a green beetle. We haven't popped one of these guys yet, have we? I think so. Oh, wow, he's got a big old drawback there. He's a lot bigger close up than he initially looked to me. Oh, and he can like really get up close Good to green. easily with his Ooh. move there. I'm just healing up here, Jinx. I took some damage. I wonder what uh he's weak against. Let me try using this, like bashing him. It's not doing as much damage just because it's not as good. I feel like he might be weak against it or something though, like the that makes sense. You like bashing there. Mm -hmm. They're cracking their shell. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's weak against these, so this would be a reason to get the hammer. I cannot avoid his roll. Yeah, it still doesn't do as much damage as this weapon does, guys. And we're slowly getting him <laughs> defeated. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah, it is really difficult to... We might as well just block, guys. Because, yeah, you can't ask him to, to roll away from it. Yeah, I'm exhausted, too. Okay, so we're not doing good in health. Oh, goodness. Let's bandage up again. Ah. <laughs> Oops. Praetorian, I'm coming. Save me. I'm coming. Not hitting it, though. We're, we're taking his health down. It's almost there, Jinx. There we Got go. Me. I like the sword. Yeah, maybe I should try using it. Like right, it doesn't so do as much damage, but you, I think you might end up doing more damage over time. Well, remember, you know, there's the weaknesses as well. Hit this foxtail to get more seeds, guys. Since clearly we need uh, seeds for everything. All right, and also we need to give ourselves some time to uh, to heal up before we fight the, the rhino beetle. We're not fighting the rhino beetle. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna go. We're gonna go attempt to fight we're it. We're not gonna. We'll take a look at it, Jinx. He's gonna kill us. I mean, probably, but I assume that you can run from it if the the fighting gets too too rough. Too intense. Mm -hmm. Warning: the footage you're about to see may be too intense for some viewers. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of running and screaming like a little bitch. All right, so we just need to let ourselves fully heal. Though let's just use a bandage, guys. Keep trying to use square for my items. And then another thing we should do is go ahead and equip those fire arrows as well. So we'll get those equipped. Wait here, Petunia. It's too dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jinx was going to name her ladybug if it would have allowed her to. Petunia. So there's the rhino beetle. So I'll go ahead and start out with an opening volley of fire arrows. <laughs> Maybe it's really slow. Nah, he looks pretty quick. Oh, he's got stupid amounts of health, Jinx. Yeah, this is a freaking rhino. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, once you start smacking him, oh, is he weak against the sword or something? Oh wow, yeah, he does charge. So, as expected there, I no think surprise you just gotta there. Gotta shoot him or smack him in his fleshy bits. Yeah, maybe I'm like hitting him in his strong points. Cause my arrows don't seem to be doing shit. Hit him in his furry belly. Uh oh. <laughs> well, he's always facing me. I haven't really been able to. Oh, maybe we can get underneath them, boys. I mean, we're Ooh, slowly yeah. ticking down the health here. Eee. Eee. <laughs> oh, keep missing when he does his little jump. And we can take him, Jinx. Now? Yeah, he's on me. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, when you hit him on the head there, it doesn't do any damage. It's like yeah, one. Yeah, it just bounces well, off of him. Eleven there. I think maybe. I mean, as long as we don't get hit, because every time he get he hits us, he does a stupid yeah, amount of damage. True. I don't want to pull my torch out. That's great. He couldn't decide which one he wanted more. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna try sure? smacking oh, him. Oh shoot! Oh yeah, don't get smacked. By yeah, him. I got hit by them that a couple times. Rough. And he did a lot of damage. Oh my god! He did 33 damage to you. Jeez. Oh jeez. Yeah, this is rough. <laughs> Come on, get out of there! And... All right. So yeah, this is a little bit easier fighting it, I think, with the. Uh, the bow. Oh, yeah, because I just can't seem to get it close to it. Yeah. But it's just not very effective. And when it's facing you, you know, you're smacking mm -hmm. its face, which is where it's armored. Although, I don't know, some of those face shots seem to do just as much damage. Yeah, I'm not sure either, because it seems like sometimes... As soon as he turns his ass to you, he sprints away like that. It's, it's tricky. Okay, let's go back to the fire arrows here, guys. Unless he's chasing us, in which case. He is. Oh, he got bored. And then he came back. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so we need to equip more arrows, guys. Ah, I'm gonna die. Luckily, we did make plenty of arrows. You just hit it more reliably with the bow, even if you're doing like less damage. You don't have to constantly be chasing it. Hey. Jesus, they're yeah, rolling away from this oh guy. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh no. So you spawn back at the bed, don't you? Yeah. Dang. Alright, so clearly, I don't think we're ready to take this guy. I mean, we did pretty good. <laughs> I died too. <laughs> Oh, well, we can go back together. We gotta go back and get our crap together now, guys. So that's unfortunate. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Did keep our equipped items, so we got the, the bow. Alright, so do we have, like, some basic resources? Uh, Just to get... Yeah, yeah, I don't think we have anything. Dang, okay. Okay, so we'll have to go out. Well... Let me see. What did I put on the bug? <laughs> I guess I can't make a whistle because I don't have any wood. Alright, so let's go ahead and call the lift back up here. And now we gotta run all the way back there, get our crap without agitating it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna <laughs> agitate it. <laughs> And then along the, along the way, you get the resources you need to craft our basic stuff again, because we don't have anything. Alright, so take me down, tree butler. I feel like we put in a pretty good fight. I mean, we, we took away, like, I don't know, maybe 15% of its health. Maybe 20. I it was more. I thought it was like half. No, it wasn't half. It, it wasn't half? No, it wasn't Are even close. Are you sure? I'm positive. Maybe he won't heal. Because I was over there, like, assessing it. You know, once you died, I was like, you know, what is the chance I can take this out by myself? And I knew right away it wasn't <laughs> going to work. And so I wanted to get away from it, but he just would not leave me alone. I'm sure he's, like, limited to a certain area. Yeah. I don't know if this is too far, guys. That's too it was far. too far. Shouldn't have jumped from that distance. But we still got a little bit of health, guys. All right, guys, so we made our way back over here. I'm going to sneak over to my grave so that we don't agitate oh it's coming we might as well just go ahead and grab it <laughs> oh nope that's not what we want to do oh no <laughs> i put all my stuff in there store it all but at least we'll be closer if we die but i really don't have to walk back over here guys because it's a pain in the butt there we go so this is what your character looks Eek. like when they're naked <laughs> <laughs> this is their undies, I guess. Oh my god, are you serious? Jinx died. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh. 
How weird looking. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get everything equipped. Nobody wants to see this. So yeah, we'll get all that equipped, and then we need to replace a few things. So the uh, crude hatchet with that one. And I think everything else is good to go. We just need to break down the wood hatchet and repair our items. Yeah. Pretty filled up with stuff as well. Might do a little bit of cooking or something while we wait for Jinx because uh, she's going to make her way all the way back here. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. She had so little health though, guys. That's that's what the issue was for her. Pretty beat up. Well, it didn't help that we, like, leapt off the tree to try and get down quicker, and we took a lot of damage from doing that. So not the best way to get down. Slow and steady wins the race. But yeah, I should not have tried to fight the rhino beetle. I mean, I think it was good to see where we're at on status-wise, but... Did he heal up? I don't know. I didn't really get a chance to... <laughs> I didn't ask him, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, buddy? How's your health doing? Right, let's break down this wood hatchet. And then uh, I suppose we'll also see if we can't craft a campfire and do a little bit of cooking here. Maybe. You can cook me up something nice for one some, of Some red jerky is what I was thinking. Finally get there. You want? You can have some beetle sausage. That's okay. <laughs> I thought you liked the beetle sausage. I do. All right, so we'll cook all that up as well. And then we'll just eat this last mushroom here, just to empty up a space. And then one thing that I had forgotten to do before we fought the, the rhino beetle is we had a, a level up. That would have been helpful, guys, if we had leveled this up a bit. And uh, I really think a little bit of dexterity would be useful as well, guys, because I have not put a single point in dexterity, so I think having a bit more speed would be nice. Yeah. And the stamina. Definitely need stamina. Okay, so... I guess we're just waiting for Jinx. Do you need all this stuff here? You gonna need to use it? Probably will need to repair all your stuff. Yeah. But yeah, the way I got down here basically is just sprinting by everybody, guys. We didn't do any fighting. Well, that's... I'm trying, but I'm probably the, gonna die. The bees were the one problem. Yeah. I wasn't able to avoid them completely no nope. and jinx dad again yeah bees you know i could pick up your stuff for you though i don't know if i have enough uh inventory space but i could pick your stuff up for you call for your beetle Is yeah beetle? i could call for the beetle yeah you know that's what we'll do guys so let's get rid of all this here and we'll get rid of all this uh maybe eat something i think we got let me see if we can clear up a space here Maybe eat these ant skewers or eat the red jerky. Seems like this does boost nourishment a lot though, but we're gonna need some extra space here. Let's see what we can open up when we call the beetle. So let's use our whistle, which apparently I did not. Oh, it's getting dark. Well, that's not good because those, uh, those roaches, those water beetles were already bad enough as it was. All right, so we should probably rush a little bit. All right, so I need to put the pet whistle in her tool belt. Say beetle. <laughs> Call the ladybug. And then when he or she gets here, I don't think they have a gender. There. Wish you Red could is. whistle for me. And just <laughs> start running. So let's go ahead and see what we can get placed. All right, guys, so we are back at the base. Finally, that was quite the hassle. Jinx was not able to make Holy it to me. How many times did you die coming I over know, to me? I'm sure there's gravestones scattered all over the island. Now. Yeah, like five or six times. Basically, I just, you know, brought my, my ladybug in and then just went through all Jinx's stuff and, you know, got it sorted so that we could uh, basically bring all her stuff in the ladybug and bring it back to her because she just could not make it to us. And so I brought her all her goodies, and now Jinx has, you know, got everything she needs now. It was dark. I was scared. I was all alone. I was out there in the in the night, and I had to fight, you know, the night enemies. I had to fight uh, a couple of different night beetles. I had no stuff. While Jinx no was snacks. chilling out here. <laughs> chilling. 
I know that elevator guy was like, really? Again? And then I had, and then I had issues getting the ladybug back up here. Yeah, it was definitely problematic. We just stopped recording because it was just, took us forever, guys. So we want to make as much of this seed oil as possible. And this time not turn it all into refined wood just yet. Maybe you turn a little bit into refined wood just so we have enough to get, let me see here, probably the, the flint pickaxe. We know we want to get that. So we can pickaxe more materials. Maybe one more. So yeah, we'll get that. Uh, I would like to get the hatchet as well, but we'll see if we have the materials available or not. I think the pickaxe should be the, the priority here. So let's go and get that. And we do not even have the, the flint to get the flint hatchet. Okay. Now that seed oil, remember we did need that here in our cauldron. Because we're going to make the grasshopper treat, which requires two seed oil, a petal, and three insect eggs. Which means insect eggs is actually what's going to limit us from being able to get another grasshopper treat so that Jinx can get herself uh, a grasshopper. And uh, with these three, the two jams and the forest delight, it seems that they all increase nourishment by the exact same amounts and blocks nourishment loss for the exact the same amount of time. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. So I don't know why you get the forest delight because that requires nectar and honey crumble while the sure. blackberry and strawberry jam only require the honey crumble. So I'm not entirely sure why you didn't bother getting that. Because it's delicious. So we're just going to get the, the strawberry jam and the blackberry jam. So we have a little bit of, oh, and that's all our blackberries. So I'll have to get more strawberry jam. Here we go. So we got some good tasty treats here. Oh, so now we can make other things. Strawberry jam huddle. Oh, that's a structure. Oh, it's a, a structure. Okay. Let's take a look at it then. Why would you want a puddle of strawberry jam? It's on the bottom there. Okay, so it requires five of your strawberry jam as well as some insect fat. Oh. oh. Like decoration. <laughs> can you bounce on it? I don't know. Well, we can Why always you build it? because no. you can always <laughs> break it down. Uh, you can get Maybe in some it. Jam wrestling. Yes, yes, jam wrestling. <laughs> Does it like feed your pets or anything? I wonder. He doesn't seem to be munching on it. Do they even need to eat? I don't think so. Let me just take a look here. No, they don't really need to eat. Just need to keep their health up. Okay, so yeah. yeah. That's just weird. I don't like I it. I think it's just for decoration, I suppose. I was hoping you could like jump on it and it had like a practical benefit, but clearly not. I guess if you could make like a giant like cauldron of jam, that'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got everything that we can cook here. I suppose we can take a look. If there's anything else that we can do in the stone cutter, I, I guess you can get more refined wood. Yeah, we'll do that. So I don't know that we have anything to do with it right now. I suppose we did need the stone hammer and there's stuff that we could build in here with that refined wood. So there's the, I mean we can't get any of this because we don't have the garlic leaves, but there's the wooden chest and the covered bed. The tannery of course requires that flint, which we just didn't get enough of. I should have mined more. If we had uh, not fought that beetle, we could have mined a bit more. And I guess we don't have the apothecary table either, but you need bark, and we weren't able to get that because we didn't have the... We needed the pickaxe, right? Which yeah, we now we have. Yeah, we need a flint pickaxe. Well, I have that yeah, now. So, so, yeah, we can now go back out and do a bit more mining. I'm never leaving. Jinx is devastated. <laughs> She's like, I'm never leaving this place I've again. I've been through so many lives. Let me just see if there's anything else that we might want to construct before we leave here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So we'll place all of our items away. We do not need to bring all this crap out here. Was there something that you needed chitin for? Um, I needed chitin for something. Yeah. Because uh, I don't have any like upgraded stuff. Yeah, so let me just take a look and see. Let me repair this stuff real quick. Let me see if there's anything I needed to, to craft in here. You need to get the, the crude hatchet. Thanks. Yeah. So you should make that. You can make it and throw it on the ground. Yeah, I suppose I could. All right, we'll make. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh my I can't God. do that, Jinx. 
I gotta get rid of some of this crap that we have. Did you want some uh, jam and stuff? Yes. We'll put the blackberries in here and then uh, wild strawberries. Did you want the blackberry jam? Sure. So I'll give that to Jinx. And let's just get rid of a lot of this stuff here. All right, so that looks pretty good. So we should be able to go back out now. Or whatever time we have left in the episode, probably only like, oh, it's hard to tell since we stopped the video. Maybe like 15 minutes or something like that. 10 minutes, I don't know. Come on, buggy friend. Man, it does seem you need to make sure your ladybug is in here when you're going down and up, at least going up, because the ladybug, the ladybug spawned up in the branch, <laughs> like up there, and then like fell off. Like I thought it was gonna die, again. but then I whistled over and over and over again, and it just couldn't make its way back up. So I had to go all the way back down, then whistle, let it get onto the lift, and then go back up. Like, come on, you silly pet. You know, managing pets is often kind of, uh, you know, tedious. They don't always do what you want to. They don't always to. do what they want you to. Want it's them like to. they have a mind of their own or some shit. Um, so, we'll wait to eat that strawberry jam until we're actually really hungry. Since it does restore quite a bit of, uh, nourishment. Alright, so, we know what we need. We need more flint. Need. And we need bark. So basically, you gotta go down to a beach again. I don't know if we want to go down to that beach. Yeah, that one's scary. What are the... Oh, I was like, what are the bees doing up in the tree? But their nest is down there. Or their hive. There's a beach right here, I think. Maybe that we could go to. I think that might be that mining area, though. I'm not sure. Maybe there's flint there. There might be flint over there. So we could head over there. Yeah, I guess we'll head that way. So that'll be east. Because this, this beach is so far away. Yeah, that's too far. And a lot of enemies you got to fight along the way. Although, I found that it was quite successful just sprinting through everything. The only thing you can't really seem to sprint away from effectively is the bees. Eventually, though, they'll stop following you because they, uh... They get bored really They get bored easy. real easily. Oh, the grasshopper, Jinx. we got to get the grasshopper. Oh, God. You think we'll be able to get it? I don't know. Do you have your uh, uh, blunt I got my weapon? weapon? No, that's my sword. Did I make the hammer? I was supposed to, but I didn't. Damn. Okay, so no hammer, guys. That's unfortunate. Alright, I got the whack'em stick. Would have made this a little bit easier. Yeah, we'd have to go up to make that, so we're not going look to. Look at him, look at me. Oh, you got one over here? Yeah. Maybe you can just feed him. It's a level 14 grasshopper. No, you gotta smack him, Jinx. Oh, it fights back, so at least this should be easier. We don't have to chase it. Oh, jeez. Alright, so, I'm taming it. Okay. Grasshopper's tame. Oh, wow, that was that was a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, did you get your stuff off your ladybug? Yeah, we have to... Hmm, it says you can, like, just have it lead the party. Does that mean you're giving it up? Maybe. Yeah, I got everything off of it. Goodbye, Red. No. Oh, so just hang out there? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, so you can leave them at home? It looks like it, yeah. Okay, so what we'll need to do is bring it back up. And then leave it at the house. Alright, so let's do that. Although I really am tempted to hop on this real quick, though. Yeah, you should. All right, let's oh, mount. So cute. <laughs> I think you can like jump with it. Oh, oh wow! You're so majestic. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at that high jump. I mean, it's grasshopper, oh, so it's to be expected. Man. But travel is going to be so much quicker now. Yeah, that's crazy. It shouldn't be as difficult to like get away from things now either. Mm -hmm. Like, leave me alone. Okay, so we'll leave it right down here. I'm so jealous. <laughs> All right, so let's tell it to wait here and leave party, and then we'll go get the ladybug. And bring that back to the house because we don't want to get rid of this. And besides, it's such a pain to 
to tame them. Yeah. I'd rather tame another grasshopper than a ladybug, just because. Although we would need the uh, the kit, which again we can't construct. What was it that we needed for the uh, the ladybug one that we didn't um, have? We couldn't make two of them. It was the uh, well, for the, the eggs, ladybug. the oh, insect eggs. You mean for the grasshopper? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah the grasshopper. So yeah, the grasshopper. We could just tame another one with a few insect eggs. I think we need like two. Yeah, I mean, I guess while you put that away, I can look around. Yeah, and see if you can find some insect eggs. I'll try not to die. <laughs> All right, come here, Red. All right, so put her back up. Oh, your grasshopper was so sad. Then I left him. You like what? Oh, there's one sitting up there too. So if we could find an egg, that would be really nice. So his name will be Hopper. Oh. Dang, what's mine gonna be? Because <laughs> I took the best name. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's gonna be hipper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's have Red chill up here. Come here, Red. So wait here, leave the party. So it's nice that you can have a few different pets. So you're not limited to just having one. You just can only carry one at a time, which is a little bit of a shame because. And this isn't a lot of people will complain about, but there doesn't seem to be much reason to have anything with the grasshopper, because I guess the grasshopper is the, the best mount. Yeah, it seems like it. And so, like, the ladybug is really helpful for carrying stuff, so it would be nice if you could have both. Like, if you get, you'd be hopping around on your grasshopper, and then have the ladybug following to carry things for you. And so, yeah, it would be nice if you could have multiple pets. And from my understanding, that's something that they plan on adding. I think I saw that in their, like, future plans. So we might be able to have multiple pets in the future. That'd be super cool. I don't know if it'll get like straight up arc style where you can have like... <laughs> like a whole farm. <laughs> a whole horde of animals following you. All right, so let's go ahead and put Hopper back into the party. And I'm gonna inspect him as well. So he's a level 14. Again, probably not going to be able to name him. We can try. So yeah, it's names, but then at this point, there's like nothing you can do. So yeah, it doesn't work. hopper has got a lot of health too, like double the health that we have. It's getting dark. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It seems like there's like a quest over there or something. A bunch of enemies marked or something. Oh, wow. If you hold the jump, he jumps even higher. Oh. It's like he's preparing the jump. You're about to jump over there in the middle of whatever that is. Oh, Lord. I'm about to get myself some bee friends here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. What is going on? <laughs> Okay, is that the world event or something? Maybe, yeah. And look on your map, you can see. Yeah, I saw him over there, like, crawling around all crazy. Okay, so the grasshopper's super cool. Ooh, there's evil grasshopper. Uh-oh. I don't remember to get off. Oh, he's got a giant chomper. Nocturnal grasshopper, yep. So yeah, grasshopper does not help you battle, apparently. I don't know if any of the enemies do. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute, does, yeah. is open. All right, so he even helps in battle, though. I'm worried about him getting himself killed. Yeah, he might. This is, oh, I'm so sorry, Hopper. I smacked him. Did we get... We get Chitin. But, yeah, no, uh, no eggs. I guess they probably just wouldn't be carrying eggs on their back. But, yeah, so that's the, the world event. This is the first time a world event has been close. It is a shame that it's at night, though. Yeah, we could go sleep. Yeah, we'd have to go all the way back up. I just went up, like, That's multiple true. times. Like, why do we gotta live up in a tree? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's safe, though. I mean, that's the reason why you live up in a tree. Care. But it's kind of pain in the butt. So we probably shouldn't bring Hopper with us. I think we should have Hopper stick around here. And I did just get another... Grasshopper. Oh, he's going after Hopper. Cannibal. They be like that sometimes. Jesus. I'm gonna fight things. Oh, goodness. 
It's nice having another friend to help you out in the battles. Except for when they get hit. Yeah. Now you can feed your your pets, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Leave Hopper alone, you bastard. So Hopper took some damage, guys. Poor guy. Oh, he's eating something. Oh. What I mean, he just heals slowly, I think. What is I don't he know if he was on? eating on his corpse or... Maybe he's cleaning himself. Yeah, might I don't been. know, because he's cute when he's cleaning himself. Let me just take a look. Can I, like... Oops. I'm trying to see how you feed him. Because I know you, there's supposed to be a way you can do it. That just mounts him. Maybe if it's in the... Oh, damn it. Wrong button. Maybe it's in the inspect... No. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it has to be a specific type of food. The grasshopper treats, maybe? Maybe you gotta keep those on you to, to feed them? Maybe. Oops, I didn't mean to eat that. Maybe he just eats dead bodies. Yeah, perhaps, but yeah, he's clearly... You can see his health is going up, so... Yeah, he, he was munching on something. Okay, so if we were to go to that world event, we should probably leave him here, because I don't want to have them worry about my grasshopper dying. He would be helpful, I think. That's a stupid amount of enemies, though. Yeah, it really is. Oh, damn, I keep hitting the wrong button. Stay here, Hopper. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous. Maybe we can... Jinx will stay here, too. <laughs> aggro some of the, the ants to us? I mean, I hate that we're doing this at night. Yeah. Something's already after us right now. It's one of those uh, nocturnal ants. He ran. Look at him, coward. There's more. I'm trying to block more. Oh, I'm not doing good yeah, on health. Me too. Should probably heal up here. Trying to heal. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? I'm coming to help. Jeez. This would help if I quit sprinting everywhere. Yeah, that uses up all your stamina. Yeah, I don't know if we should go over there with these night ones. We'll go take a peek, but... Yeah, we'll just go look. What's well, clearly, the worst that could happen? Everything is more difficult. At least we're over here. At night. Next but, to our bed. Yeah, if we died, it wouldn't be that far of a walk. To get back over here. Trying to avoid that ant, but it didn't work. Well, yeah, the block helps a little bit. You still do take a lot of damage, though. So rolling is obviously the best option. Got him. But yeah, what are these thingies? I don't know. They look like ants, honestly. Oh, they do look like ants. They're just bull ants. Oh. So I wonder how many you gotta kill. Like to complete the event. There's another one behind you, Jinx. But yeah, this is what I was hoping we could do is like just pull some of them off. Oh, we got a bee on us too. Oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this world so mean? It's awful. Alright, I guess I'll try and take care oh, of the bee. Goodness. Oh, and I don't have any arrows equipped apparently. can't see yeah. anything. I don't know how well you guys can see on YouTube. Yeah, I can't see anything either. I'm trying to take care of that bee. It's a wasp, actually. Wasps are assholes. Because, yeah, you can't have... Again, this is why we shouldn't have gone out at night. And the poison but is really brave, messing me up. small folk. Okay. I'm just trying to dodge these wasp attacks because we do not have any health. I'm going to need to heal. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I'm going to die. Alright, let's use our bandage here, guys. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can take the wasp. Yeah, he's too stingy. Maybe we should run. Oh. All right. Though running <laughs> isn't very effective. Oh, where'd he go? 
He's gone. Okay. He said I killed Jinx. That's enough for That was today. all. So Jinx could come down here and get her crap. Yeah. I could. <laughs> you know, I really think that sleeping is the best option for us, guys, and then dealing with that world of it. I'm curious what happens with it, but uh, that means we would have to end today's episode. Let's actually tell... Well, we did stuff. I mean, we got a grasshopper. You got a grasshopper. And I don't know how easy it's going to be like, get up to the the base with this. Yeah, I'd probably just have them follow <laughs> you. Because I'm going to leap right off. I wonder if they take fall damage, though. It seems almost like they don't. Interesting. Oh, and... Guess we don't find out today. <laughs> it doesn't look like I it. I don't know. He didn't. He's invincible. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I will do this off camera, I guess. They are better at climbing than we are, though, as you'd expect with a bug. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit difficult to get used to here, guys. Try not to, to fall off with this. Yeah, he's wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I should probably pull my torch out. And I feel like we're falling or something. Falling into <laughs> the world or being eaten by the world. The tree needs oh, nourishment. Lord. Oh, yeah, there, there's your, your hopper. Yep, I'm stuck. But where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Okay, so that's unfortunate. Hopper's stuck. I would imagine we can get him unstuck if we just went upstairs. And like whistle for him. And whistle for him or something, or whistle for him right over here. He might even be able to get himself unstuck. Okay, so that's one of the problems. Yeah, he did. With riding the mount. He's trying to push me off. <laughs> Jeez, Hopper. Like, don't be like that. Are you coming to get up in here? Huh? Gonna oh, you're going to get your stuff, stuff first? Stuff. Okay, Jinx is getting her stuff. But I guess we'll go ahead and leave the episode off here. We did a few things. We battled our first first boss. And that was, of course, the uh, rhino beetle thing over here. That did not go well. Clearly, mm -hmm. we are not high enough level for that or just don't have the tools or whatever that we need. And yeah, we got the grasshopper. We got flint for the first time, as well as a few other resources. And so we're making some progress here. Got my stuff. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.